Let's analyze an example graph to get a feel for interpreting graphs. Our example graph here is based on five data points and has a best fit line drawn through it. It has a clear understandable title, water depth in a bathtub. Our axis titles let us know what we're watching, the change in depth, y-axis, over time, the x-axis. Let's start by looking at the y-intercept and see what that has to tell us. The line crosses the y-axis at 22 here. Now what does that tell us? Given the good axis titles, we can see that we're talking about the depth of the bathtub at the start of our data collection. That is, when time equals zero, the depth is 22. And luckily for us, the graph also includes the units in the titles, a requirement for a good graph. So we know that the tub started at 22 centimeters deep. Looking over here, we can see that there is no x-intercept shown. So we know that the depth never gets to zero during this data collection. Now, if we were to guess how long it would take for the tub to be totally empty, we can use extrapolation. And this extends the line a bit further down to see that it would likely take about 5.5 seconds to empty the tub, assuming this trend continued. Extrapolation is simply extending a pattern, in this case this line, beyond the collected data points to make an estimate. What if we were curious about the depth of the water after 2.5 seconds? Now that's between our data points, but we can use the line showing our pattern. And we can use that to determine what the depth is at 2.5, or predict what it would be at 2.5. So it looks about 12 centimeters here. Using the pattern to make predictions between data points is called interpolation. I find it easy to remember that extrapolation starts with the EXT, just like external. So it's looking at predictions outside or external to the data range. Interpolation, on the other hand, starts with INT, just like internal. So interpolation is looking at predictions inside or internal to the range of data. Another thing we often consider when analyzing linear data is the slope. We can pick two points that are easy to read off this graph and draw a triangle between them. So the rise here and the run is shown here. In this case, the rise is a negative in that it's dropping. It drops from 18 to 10, meaning a drop of 8. Or we can say a rise of negative 8 centimeters. The run is going from 1 to 3, which indicates a run of 2 seconds. So we have negative 8 centimeters over 2 seconds equals negative 4 centimeters per second. That's our slope. So what does this slope tell us? Well, using our titles, we can conclude that our tub's depth is dropping by 4 centimeters per second. The tub starts at 22 centimeters deep and drops by 4 centimeters each second. So at this point we know all the information required to make an equation describing this situation. It's clearly linear so let's start off with y equals mx plus b. Recall that the b is the y-intercept and we already know that to be 22 centimeters. We also know that m, the slope, was found to be negative 4 centimeters per second. So our equation could be written as, or to make this equation have a little more meaning to somebody else reading it, let's replace the y and x with, well how about d for depth and t for time. So our improved equation could be d equals negative 4 centimeters per second times t plus 22 centimeters, where d is the tub depth in centimeters and t is the time in seconds. 
These are typical ways to glean information from graph data, allowing you to fully interpret the situation being described.